Clemson Tiger football. Today, from Sanford Stadium, it's the Clemson Tigers versus the Georgia Bulldogs. Donald Igwebuike with Fred Lane and Andre Smith back to receive Igwebuike doing a great job at kickoff once again this year. It's Freddie Lane to the near side and Andre Smith to the far side. Igwebuike puts the toe to it. Andre Smith going back into the end zone too deep to run out. He'll take over at the 20-yard line. An inexperienced line anchored by the sometime starter in 1983, Peter Anderson at center. You see him there. Williams at quarterback. Inexperienced running back, Lane and Archie, experienced receivers, however. That's Lane in motion. And the pitch back goes to Mangrum. Mangrum's packed up short of the 20-yard line. The defensive lineup now for the Clemson team. Outland Trophy candidate William Perry, flanked by Berlin and brother Michael. Wells at left end, the bandit is Terrence Mack in the linebackers, Walls and Milton, Davis, Watson, Danforth, and Pleasant, the defensive secondary. Mangrum on the carry, penalty flagged down as he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage. So it'll be a second down and 20 yards for the Georgia Bulldogs. Peter Anderson over the ball at center. That's Andre Smith. Andre Smith can't hit the hole quick enough. Archie split to the far side, and Osborne is in the slot. He's the man in motion right now. Third and long yardage, penalty flag in the air. Fine now. 15 yards and penalties marched off against Georgia here in the opening series of... Mangrum. To the 48-yard line. Andrews out of his end zone. Oh, beautiful hang time on this one. Pleasant goes back. He'll have time to catch it at the 35. Does the next best thing, just go straight up the field. And as you see Mike Epley going into the huddle, Engel, Reese, Wayne, Cheatham, Ellis, KD Dunn, the fine tight end. Epley at quarterback. Flowers at fullback. Stacy Driver starting as he comes back to his home state of Georgia. Rulak and Butler are the wideouts. Epley goes to the air on the first play, but his receiver fell down. Epley, the great athlete he is now, taking time. In turn it for Williams. Epley, as you see there, number one of the nation in pass efficiency. Boyer and Williams are the wide out. Stacy Driver gets the call, and he breaks off the pass. First down and more, out of bounds to the 44. The Georgia defensive line is anchored by Kenny Sims from Greenville, South Carolina. 13 tackles last year in one game against Auburn. Lloyd Chumley, Harris, Topham. Behind the cornerback, they have walk-ons for experience. First step from the 40. Epley, the safety driver. First down, and more as he goes down about the 29. Safety driver in motion. Right up the middle. And getting to the 25-yard line, a gain of about four and a half yards. There's that wing back now lined up right. Second and six now for the Tigers. Epley looks back over the middle to Williams. Williams is piled down at the 17-yard line at Boyer, and Williams the wideout. Williams is to the far side. First and 10 from the 17-yard line. Epley on the option. Back to Driver. Oh, as he hits solidly that time at the 15-yard line by Tony Black. But don't tell Georgia fans that. He's all SEC. Second and eight. In the open. Done. Touchdown. What a beautiful play call, Kim McClurkin. What a great individual effort by KD Dunn to get into the end zone. Epley just took three steps. Record intact. He's thrown out 12 and making 13 out of 13. With 10 minutes and 33 seconds to be played here in the first quarter. Clemson on their first possession scores and leads this ball game 7 to nothing. We'll be back with more action right after this. Lead it done for the 16-yard scoring pass. 
seven and nothing Clemson. Big White Weeke, his second try at a non-returnable. Freddie Lane says, no, I'm not going to run it out. As Todd Williams brings him to the line of scrimmage, first and ten. Williams looking for Archie, locks the ball, intercepted by Watson. Ronald Watson. Penalty flag goes down. And because the clipping call goes back to the 46-yard line. With better field possession than they started the last time. From the 46-yard line, Williams goes into the slot to hand off. And it's Flagler. Flagler a gain of a couple of yards. Now he sends Charleston to the far side and Ray Williams to the near side. Epley to the air. That's an eligible receiver. And Williams to the near side. Epley against the four-man rush. Going long to Williams. Intercepted by Sanchez. Sanchez. Well, we talked about field position. So far, it's been all Clemson. Up the middle, no room at all. You know the butterflies have to be going just a little bit. Second down and 10. Williams. Low throw to Archie. He engineered those two drives last year in the fourth quarter to tie the game at 16-16. Look out! There is Mack. Back at the four-yard line. Back foot on the back line. Only one man really penetrating and a nice hanging high punch. Fair catch called for, but they wouldn't give him room to catch it. And the penalty flag will go down. So Georgia, Steve Griffin is the tail back, moving back into the eye as Dunn shifts to the right side of the line. Epley hands to Griffin. Griffin tries the knife through. Yellow flag down at the 25. And whenever you see that flag in the middle of the line of scrimmage, you... Makes the flowers. KD Dunn. Booms his way past Black, but he was down after the fumble. First and goal. Nine yards to go. Good tackle at the line of scrimmage on Kenny Flowers. He graduated early from high school. Griffin on the carry, very little running room as he tries to inch his way to the five-yard line. The Bulldogs back in now with 6.03 remaining first quarter. Epley going to the air to the lob. Williams can't get to it. He hit the corner of the end zone. Three for three in the field goal department as long as 49, but this one will have a ball placement at the 12. It's up and powers it out of the stadium. Big Boy Buike puts three more on the board, and Clemson, with 5.53 remaining in the first quarter, leads the University of Georgia by the score of 10 to nothing. We'll pause now for a word from your local station. First and 10 from the 10. Andre Smith, Gary Cleveland. Cleveland! Outside the 25. Fred Lane in motion. Archie cutting across the field. They flip it off to Lane. And Lane is out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Second down and five for the Bulldogs. Lane and Hockaday, the wide out. Cleveland, the carry. Important. Third down. Penalty flag goes in the air. He would make a first down, but let's check the yellow hanky. Offside, Clemson declined. Athens here, the largest crowd ever to see Clemson football in a stadium. Once again, they go to the tailback. Oh, what a hit! Fumble. And evidently he was down. Tyrone Davis that time. Lane is in the slot with Archie to the near side on a second and four at the 46-yard line. On the option, they both went for the quarterback, and Cleveland is corralled before he can get a first down. Flanked by Berlin and Michael Perry. Third and one at the 49. Perry. Does he make it? I don't think he made it. He has to get over the 50 to the 49. That's just enough for the first down. Large Tate at tailback. And the first and 10 from the 49. Williams. Nice flip. Pushed out of bounds. Andre Smith, the fullback. He's a high school All-American. Go from the 39-yard line. Oh, wow. the ball. 
Let's begin with a tailback and with very little running room is Pate. Flag yeah. down, Jim. Yeah, I think Steve Berlin's going to be offside for Clemson. Georgia hurt the Bulldogs. We'll see if the Bulldogs can capitalize now against the Tigers. First and five. Pate, big hole. Pate to the 26 yard line. That's the end of the first quarter now. With the score, you see it. Clemson Tigers 10, the Georgia Bulldogs nothing. Pate is the tailback. Andre Smith, the up man in that eye formation. Andre Smith, the carrier. Sliding off that middle guard spot. The men of the trenches defensively on a second and seven. Well, you wonder who's going to have the last penalty. This is the 11th play of this drive for Georgia. Second down and 12. Williams gets around Perry. Collapsed upon by Craig Crawford. Through two men. Said he hoped his quickness would get out of the way of the big guy. Third and 12. They dump it off to Tate. Tate tries to sneak through and wiggles down to the 19. Jimmy Harrell will hold for Kevin Butler. Butler's ball placement at the 25, just short of the 25. Plenty of leg. It looks good. It is good. The University of Georgia hits the scoreboard with a field goal from Kevin Butler. With 12 minutes, 44 seconds remaining before halftime. Clemson 10, Georgia 3. We'll pause now for a word from your local station. Georgia, if you count four years, has the best mark in the nation, 44-4-1. Epley goes to the air or tries. Look for William. Total of 49 yards for Mike Epley at quarterback and a second and 10 still from the 20. The up man in the eye formation, Kenny Flowers. Third and seven. Rulak and William are the wide receivers. And Epley looking for William, dumps it off to his back, and he drops the ball. Spirit Flagler. Hatcher back at his 10-yard line. It's a beautiful booming kick away as Harold waits at the 30. Hit at the 35 on a first and 15. Williams to Gary. Gary gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Second down, 11 for the Bulldogs. The bandit almost got the quarterback, and he released it a little early. Ken Brown. Ron Jackson in a tailback. The fans are on their feet as far as the Bulldog fans are concerned as Williams decides he's going to tuck it under. Nice adjustment. Fighting off the block was Jeff Wells now with a third and eight at the 10-yard line. Williams on the lob. Broken up on the play. A Butler now preparing for his second field goal try from the 16-yard line. Kevin Butler with four field goals against Southern Mississippi in the Bulldogs' first game of the year. It is no good. Hard to believe. So the young man who holds the SEC record for the most field goals and, of course, the University of Georgia record. Jim Riggs, the tight end. Sheldon Boyer and Rulak, the wide receiver. Definitely, though, goes to the tailback. Tailback doesn't have much running room as he gets up to about the eight-yard line. Culpepper, Mitchell, and Lloyd. Playing the role of linebacker. No running room. Yep, late the safety driver. So the delay of game. So with Hatcher getting ready, Rulak and Boyer are the wideouts. 651 in the second quarter. Stacy Driver tries to come out of the pack. Almost got the football taken away and is stopped for a loss. Great hang time. It's going to call back for some reserve strength right now. Harold coming under the football at midfield. Gets to the 45 and good pursuit that time. With Tate at tailback. Misses the fullback. It goes to Tate. Nice cutback. Jeff Wells. Got just enough of a hit that Tate has a good combination of power and speed. Four or five speed. But this time he's got caught around the ankles by Tyrone Davis. 
Meadows flanks Perry to the right. Todd Williams taking it himself, and the bandit turns back. Third down and 10 from the 34. Williams has Tate, and he gets it through at the 30, and can't hold on. A vicious hit by Keith Williams. He's proven to have the leg before. Let's see if he can get the 51 yarder. It's up. If it's straight, it's good. It is good. Kevin Butler comes through. A 51 yard field goal. What we expected, a great ball game here in Athens, Georgia. Clemson 10 to 6 over Georgia for the Bulldogs. Penley's against the Tigers to put their backs to the wall and eventually punt. Sir Clemson with a football at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Clemson leading at only 10 to 6. Epley hands to Flagler. Nice defensive adjustment that time. And 45 rushing, whereas Georgia picked up most of their yards on the ground. Second down and eight from the 32. Epley hesitates, but it's back to Flagler. Flagler, beautiful move on Sanchez. Flagler down to the 30-yard line. Five knockdown blocks. Up the middle this time on a first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Bill Carter at fullback. Someone was left free, and it was Hewitt. Carlisle Hewitt. They've got a third and seven. And that's from the 27-yard line. Epley going back, looks for the long throw. Gets it to number 33. That's Flegler. Terrence Flegler, touchdown. Epley's been able to do that all year long so far. Now in the third game of the season, he's been able to unload the extra point drive. It's up, it's powerful enough, and it is good. So he remains perfect in extra point drives. Clemson 17 to 6. Let's look at it again. Well, this is interesting because Clemson took a whole took the whole first half setting this play up. Flagler's been going down about 10 yards hooking up. This time he just streaks down the sideline. And John Little couldn't cover him man to man. I don't think anybody can cover Flagler man on man. And Put a good bit into it. They'll let it roll through. It'll only have Clemson now to break out in front 17 to 6. Todd Williams looking for Archie, and he dumps it short, and it's almost intercepted. Let's see. Yes, it is intercepted. Tyrone Davis' is second interception of the day. Well, in the third of the season, Jim. And it's... Oh, it's 216. The Tigers in great field position with the 31. Flagler. Corrected, Kenny Flowers fumbles the ball, but he was already down, maybe, let's check it. But he does have 76 yards, thanks to the long bond. Now it's third and eight, an important call for the Tigers. Ball resting at the 29-yard line. Epley, back to driver. Driver really is corralled, but somehow sneaks through for a yard gain. There you see Peretti, number 17, the backup quarterback, the holder for Igwebuike. It's Scott Williams, the snapper from Hickson, Texas. Ball placement at the 33-yard line. It sails high. It is good. So what a kicking game we're seeing here today. Something we anticipated, but with 54 seconds left on the clock, the Tigers put three more on the board. Clemson 20, Georgia 6. Big boy Buike puts it high, and Harold goes back to catch it. And he won't run that out. So it's Area tailback, Williams, hands off up the middle and struggling to get to the 24-yard line, almost to 25. Crawford's getting the initial hit there as we saw in the replay as it goes back to the tailback. A Bulldog loses his helmet up from the trenches. The clock ticks down. And that's the end of the first half from Athens, Georgia, with the score. The Clemson Tigers 20, the Georgia Bulldogs 6. Butler comes forward and the second half is underway. A high booming kick into the end zone. Rulak fields it. He will not run it out. JD Dunn shifts to the left side of the line. Safety driver gets the call. Beautiful hole. And it uh, bottles up quickly. Epley making sure everyone hears the call. 
Stacy Driver the tailback. Nice cutback as Georgia had a chance. Epley, the quarterback, he gets the first down, moving over the 30-yard line. Epley taking a lot of time. Can't hold on on the far side. First defense has actually challenged the Tigers. Dylan Boyer to the far side, Williams to the near side, and Epley barely got the ball away. The exchange is fumbled, and a big break for the Bulldogs at the 30-yard line. Carlisle Hewitt jumps on the football. Where the quarterback actually rides with the fullback up to the line and then gives it to him or takes it back at the last second. Fullback on the carry, Smith. Second and five at the 25. Back to Tate. Tate short of the first down by Yard. Well, they Clemson would like to see him make one right here. This is a big third and two. On the 22, Tate does not make the first down. He's got the first down inside the 20 to the 19. First and 10 now. The Bulldogs to the 19-yard line of Clemson. Tate. Oh, a nice adjustment on the far side by Dwayne Meadows. Second and 11 now from the 20-yard line. Key series for the Bulldogs. Williams has his man in the open. Archie can't get it to him. He had a nice move, third and 11. He's going to lob to the corner to Archie again. Touchdown! That's one over Tyrone Davis. With everybody on the line of scrimmage. Kevin Butler to the side for the extra point. It is up and it is good. So the Bulldogs here in the second half make a move to get back into the ball game. Williams just a three-step drop to his right and lets it go. There you see Davis is already beat. Archie's got to come back for the ball. Nice catch. So the turnover proving costly to the Tigers as Kevin Butler prepares the kickoff. It'll be short. Rulak, number 15, fighting with Williams. It's Rulak from the five. He only gets out to the 16-yard line. From the 16, the Tigers for the first and 10. They try it with Flegler. Averaging 7.9, could get only three that time. Epley, tucks it under, not the first down, it is a yard shy. Key third down play for the Tigers. From the 23. The pitch back. First down, penalty though. Under the wide receiver cutting across. 8.37 in the third quarter now. This is third and 14 from the 12. Epley, the pass. Gets it through the arms of Dunn. Below it. Hatcher, from his own end zone. Gets a high hang time. Fair catch. Called for at the 46-yard line. Tate, there's William Perry, a tackle for a loss. <laughs> and that's William Perry. 320 pounds. That's paraphrasing. Second and 12, William's back. He's got his man, Archie. Fumbles the ball, picks it up luckily and makes it down to the 30-yard line. Incomplete pass, they're going to say. I thought he had it long enough. Lanes at the slot to the left of the line on a third and 12 from the 43. William. That's good protection. He's got his man Archie again. First down. For Herman Archie on a first and 10 from the 40. Pace. Back up at the 35 after a gain of four. Extremely well in that last play. Archie split to the far side on the second and five. Pace, the ball carrier. Beautiful block. Pace, first down. 20-yard line. Tyrone Davis for tackle. Two minutes now left in the third period. Bulldogs on the drive at the 20-yard line. Pullback on the carry. He flips to McCluskey. Bulldogs coming back here in a good third quarter. The tailback got the leverage. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. 
Watson ran him out there. First down and goal. Bulldogs knocking on the door. Touchdown! Cleveland, Gary, number 36, scores for the Bulldogs. 13 on the clock, third quarter. Butler puts it up, and it is good. We've got a tied great ball game at Athens, Georgia, with the scores. Clemson 20, Georgia 20. We'll be right back after these words. We'll see if they can regain what Tim thought was the key, regain the poise. Ray Williams. Williams gets out to the 20 yard line, just beyond. Stacey Driver. Nowhere to go. Epley. Rulak was completely covered. Epley completes the pass for the first down at the 40-yard line to Richard Butler. So throwing him open. 20 to 20 on the first and 10. The quick out this time goes to Butler, I believe. They've got a second and three, second and two. Daisy Driver. Looked like he had the route to the outside as that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Georgia 20, Clemson 20. We'll pause now for a word from your local station. Clemson now with a third and one at midfield. Ball resting in the 50-yard line, Epley. Be careful what you say about these golf players now. Well, I was talking about you. You're mostly known not from Lehigh, but from the Redskins and Falcons. KD Dunn, first down yardage, and more as he goes out of bounds at the 30. First and ten from the 30. Flowers. Gain of a yard on the play. On the second and eight from the 28. Out of the straight drop to go to Rulak. It's intercepted by Flack. Tony Flack at the 20-yard line. And a penalty flag is down. Thirteen forty-four to go in this ball game. Williams, good quick pursuit that time. His first practice, in fact, in pads was Wednesday. Gary on the carry. Third and seven. Todd Williams has his man. Can he get in the ball? No. Osborne was wide open. On it twice, average of 45 yards. Beautiful hang time back to 34. And he goes nowhere. Flagler then. Igwe Buike. Here's the second and four. Intercepted at the 46 yard line. Tony Flack. Second straight interception. They're making their breaks in this ball game. First and ten at the 47 yard line. Tron Jackson the tailback. And he'll get the toss. Good speed. Uprooted by number 32, that's Kenny Danforth. Bunch of defense. A great challenge here. The pitch man. First down, Tron Jackson. Two fumbles leading to touchdowns in the third quarter. Now two interceptions. Unable to make the play. Second and 11 at the 43. Back makes it to the 40-yard line. He is three up front on the right side of the line as Williams calls signal. Third and nine at the 40. Osborne on the roll. Williams tries to get it to him. A little bit too low. He was in the open, though. Andrews, three punts for 49 yards. Hangs this one high. Will it go into the end zone? Yes. The wind is behind him. And it's... Weigler and Flowers. The running back, the son, shifts to the near side. Epley on the option. Tucks it under. He won't hit, pitch it back this time. He learned the first time, but he fumbled. Loose football. And Georgia again recovers. 
They've been able to so far the second half, breaking into the open. The fullback, Andre Smith. Good yardage over the 45. Gary, the tailback now from the 43. Henry Walls may take their turnovers from Clemson and score. Second and seven from the 40. Gary. He makes it to the 35, close to the first down. Gary, the pitch. He's got the first down. First and 10 from the 31-yard line. Freddie Lane in motion. Hand off to Gary, and there was a mix-up back there as the blocking came right back, takes the tailback. He gets the pitch and fumbles it, has to fall on it at the 35-yard line. So it The pitch back, Citron Jackson. Rolled out of bounds. Well, as he proved in a 51-yarder earlier in the ballgame, he's got the leg for it. It's a howitzer. It is good. Kevin Butler breaks the tie. Gets embraced by Mike Cavan, their assistant coach, as he comes off the field and gets set for the kickoff. The 6.03 remaining, Georgia 23, Clemson 20. We'll pause now for words from your local station. This is the Raycon Sports Network. Finished 26 seconds, went 29 yards with it. Butler. Williams in the end zone will not run it out, so as Clemson did to prepare for this game. Epley out of the backfield. That's Flowers. And from the 30 now with the first down. Flowers gets around the linebacker. Good yardage, though. Penalty flag is down. It's down by three with 526 remaining in this contest. That's true. Clemson has only won one game and 16 tries before this game. Dumps it off to Stacy Driver. Driver, a nice, nice sidestep at the 25. Epley. And he goes to a KD Dunn. And about three and a half yards to go for a first down. It's a long three. Let's see if they can convert it. You see the scoring there by quarters, but we've got a more important situation right here. At the 37-yard line, Epley. Can he get it around? He pitches back. Driver's got the first down. Nicely executed that time by Epley. Hewitt from Chumley defensively now at the end spot for Georgia. Epley throws behind his intended receiver. A defensive call that time by the Bulldogs. Second and ten from the 45-yard line. The deep drop. He's got his man, Williams, I believe. Let's check it when he comes out of that pile. With a tick, 3-18 remaining in this ball game. 23 to 20, Georgia by three. First and ten from the 43. Epley looking long, throws it up dangerously. Can't get to the ball. Butler, Richard Butler. Base man. Stacy Driver to the wing on the near side. Freshman got Boyer on this side, too. Straight up the middle. Nice hole as he steps over one uh, tackler, Kenny Flowers. In the latter moments of this ball game, Epley. Lobbing one for Ray Williams. He uh, impossible to get to. Epley ends up to a nice long win in this one. But right now, his club is trailing by three with 2.30 on the clock. Epley steps up. Almost intercepted. If it hadn't been for KD down, it would have been. He got 10 yards to go for a first down. Third and 10. They're going for the first down now. Defense flashed back. Epley out of the pocket. Nice receiver coming back, but he drops the ball. KD down with a sure first down. Tie the game at 16. Now Eboy Buike trying to tie it at 23. Kick is up. It's long enough. It is good. Donald Igwe Buike ties this ball game with two minutes and ten seconds remaining. Well, it's just an incredible finish to this game, and we've still got two minutes and ten seconds left. There you see the score. Georgia 23, Clemson 23. We'll pause now for a word from your local station. There is some stuff.
Big Boy Buike. It bounces in the end zone, and so they'll put it out at the 20. Cron Jackson, the tailback. He's got lots of speed. Williams quickly over to Lane. Fred Lane makes it to the 24-yard line. They need bigger chunks than that. On the second and six from the 24, release the split back. Cron Jackson. Archie to the near side, Lane to the far side. First down at the 31-yard line. Williams gets the big rush. Incompleted pass to the near side. It doesn't match up well, but you never know in this series. Danny Ford not buying any of that, of course. And they've just shown why. Oh, what an up. Let's get a look out. What a game-saving tackle by Tyrone Davis. Ron Jackson, actually 59 seconds. Williams out to Fred Lane. Blue Fingers is first counted by Elbridge Milton, number 87. And it's Archie to the near side. Georgia needs at least one more substantial gain. They're going for it all. Going for Freddie Lane. He can't get to the football. What a great try, though. Tyrone Davis on him. The dogs are going to try to prove that they can do it on a third and nine from the 44. Williams looking for Osborne. Catches it, but it was out of bounds. Well, it's fourth down. They're going to have to try it. Kevin Butler. Ball placement at the 51. Harold the holder. Anderson the snapper. It looks like it might be far enough. It's good. Unbelievable. Still 11 seconds on the clock. Unbelievable. Not only was it good, it was good by at least five yards. He had the wind going with him, and he got it up a strong leg, and he fired it over the crossbar. Comes back and kicks a 61-yard field goal to put the Bulldogs ahead, 26 to 23. Georgia and Clemson. We haven't seen this many points in a game between these two in some time. Butler may kick this kickoff out of Athens. Swift kick. Williams bobbling it. Has good blocking in front of him. Now he passes across the field. It's fumbled, picked up by Rulak. Rulak with good running room. He's to the 45, 40, and out of bounds. Time runs out. Well, this is a great effort by Clemson. I'll tell you, I think there's some question as to the... Clemson's arguing there was one second left when he ran out of bounds. The officials are getting together on it. I looked at the clock, and it looked to me like there was time left on the clock as he got out of bounds. It looked like there was time to me, uh, but it's pretty hard to tell. Evidently, the decision has been made. At least the crowd thinks so. There's Vince Dooley and Danny Ford. Well... Danny Ford's going to say home field advantage. <laughs> well, he sure is. Rulak was out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. And Georgia has upset the University of Clemson 26-23 to on a 60-yard field goal by Kevin Butler. We'll pause now for words from your local station. This is the Raycom Sports Network. <laughs> 